come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you are ready for it or not, because we're taking over the world one podcast listener at a time. Maybe it's you this week. Thanks for joining the show. Oh, <laughs> these are the Internet Radio Superstars. Holly. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. Tonight, we watched a movie that was chosen by Michaela. Where'd we go tonight? We went to see the Phantom of the Mall. Ooh, we did. Er- Why? Col- colon <laughs> Eric's Revenge. There Eric's is. Revenge from the year nineteen eighty nine. Eighty nine, mm. directed by. Uh, directed by Richard Friedman. Ooh, sounds. Who, uh, do we know Richard? Uh, yeah, previous episode Doom Asylum that oh, you guys all God hated. Damn it. Oh. Okay. And uh, Sean, you directed okay. a handful of episodes of Baywatch Nights. That's fine. I, all right, all right. He's, he's slowly gaining. You're like, ground. okay, he's back. Right, he's, he's gaining my confidence. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I guess right. the thing where like it's Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. Revenge. Yes. Was there a Phantom of the Mall? <laughs> yes. Part one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not a sequel, even though it sounds, sounds like, like it. It, it? it does sound like it. it. Does. I so don't... what you're saying is there's a possibility we could make a first one. There is. I mean, Expand. I mean, yeah. What, what did we say we would call it? We were t- spitting out titles while we were watching it, but mm-hmm. Phantom of the Mall. We can make this a trilogy, I think. Even it's Prevenge. Pre- Pre- the Prevenge, yeah. yes. <laughs> Prevenge, the Revenge. Oh, um, it- uh, Genesis. Eric Genesis. Genesis. Yeah. Eric Genesis. Yeah. You see, I want yeah. them to have Eric in all Just, of it. No, yeah. They all have to have direct to direct to video yeah. names. Yeah. Eric Bloodlines. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That's the sequel Bloodlines to this one. Bloodlines. Yes. Bloodlines. Yeah. Generations. Yeah. Gener- legacy. Yeah. Legacy. legacy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric's legacy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. There's a whole. We got this planned out. Mm-hmm. We have yeah. uh, mm-hmm. this. Eric setup first there. kill. This is a whole untapped thing. Yeah. Eric, Eric's first blood. Eric yeah, first blood. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a yep, yep. Mm-hmm. So this is coming at the end of the slasher cycle. Obviously, they are mm-hmm. trying to position it to make you to, the, to like trick you into thinking that you saw the first one. Like, oh, oh, right. gonna, we got to have a son of Eric. Yeah, yeah. Son, son of, of Eric. Eric. Oh, yeah. son, there we go. Son of, son of Eric. Eric. There Melody we go. was pregnant yes. the whole time. <laughs> Oh my God! Yes, <laughs> and uh, we've had Phantom of the Paradise. Polly Shore in all of them. Oh, yes. that's a yes. surprise! Wait, why are you why are you mentioning Polly Shore? <laughs> because Polly Shore is in this movie. Get Colin. out! Mm-hmm. Thank which goodness. Which you, which was kept from us until the opening credits. <laughs> yes, of this yeah. Movie. Thank God. That's why when Colin, when you started in the group chat, you're like, "Oh my God, I remember this movie." I was like, "Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't say, don't say who's in it." Because no. yeah. Well, there must be some surprises. I didn't want that. So I had seen it guys, once yeah. before, and it completely left my memory until like we were getting into it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, 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 yeah. and it all started coming back. Except for, ironically, what we thought would probably be the most uh, you know memorable scene of the movie. Like, yeah, I yeah. yeah. uh, forgot it. Yeah, yeah. Um, which we'll talk about. So, uh, okay, so we got Eric, a Phantom of the Mall, mm-hmm. which uh, uh, you know, then you go well, the, the Phantom of the Opera. Yep. Uh-huh. Right. So, how much of this did you get? You know, was the a graft of the Phantom of the Opera storyline? Uh, I mean, it it's loosely there. It's like yeah. the major beats are there. I would say, like the it's you know, like, yeah, it's like how Clueless is. The revisionist of Emma. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. Know. It's exactly. like it's there, but it's not. Well, and isn't isn't ten things I hate about you supposed to be taming of the, taming of the yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's that like, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they modernized it. Wow, yeah. we're really reaching, aren't we? <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, I I hate myself right now <laughs> for even mentioning I was those. Say, you classics. hate this. I do hate this. Well, they do try some. I mean, because that's what there's a lot of scenes of. Uh, Cavernous duct work. Yes, and this yes. is a movie of a lot of duct work. It's Giant, very much like it's- alien style, uh, you know, or yeah. opera, right? Yeah. yeah. So you can crawl around in these ducts. But this is what was confusing for me as someone who worked in a mall for a very long time. They have service hallways that look just like that. Yeah. Mm. Why did this movie not just take place in the service hallways? Like because. I remember, le- like, when you lock down the mall at night and you got to leave through the service hallway or you got to take the trash out, I was always mm-hmm. worried, like, what's stopping someone from just mm-hmm. living in these service hallways? Mm-hmm. Because their doors are unlocked. Yeah. And we do um, see gl- glimpses of the service hallways, yeah. but that's not where he lurks primarily. But that's what the ducks look like. They yeah. look like the yeah. service but the hallways. Ducks, yeah. yeah, and the ducks get you more places. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but we know, yeah. It's, the the, we know well. it's the duct because it uh, has German expressionism shadowing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Venetian blind yeah. lighting. That's the thing, like, I'm always kind of 
disappointed that like uh, in in movie ductwork, uh, there's never Ooh, we're getting very specific. There's never any dust in the, in the ductwork. Like there should yeah. be more it should dust. Should be covered with dust. Sh- they dust should be granules right. when disgusting. they walk. Clouds. Yeah, should clouds be of dust. Well, that's what I want no. to see. Okay. I've never seen that. But I mean, I think this is a very reasonable explanation it's here. Brand Eric, new. no, Eric is keeping his house tight. Oh, yeah, okay. we He's saw his apartment house. layer. Sure. Yeah. We saw his layer. It was like he goes around in an apron with a duster and dusts his vents. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, when he's not getting his revenge, the yep. ducts are like the catacombs beneath the Paris Opera. Mm-hmm. So we have the duct work inside the the what mall? Midwood. M- Midwood. The Midwood, Midwood Mall. The Midwood. most mid name ever. Yeah. Is yeah. The Midwood. Midwood. Mall. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Midwood Mall looks vaguely familiar when you're watching this movie. Yeah, if you've it, seen a lot of eighties movies. It's the Brentwood Galleria. I feel like, there, Galleria, I feel like right, there was so. a lot of chopping there at one point. Yeah. Well, no, there wasn't. That was the problem with that movie. Well, there wasn't any chopping. No chopping. Chop. No. That's the problem. A lot of blue lightning and no. heads exploding. Yeah. But no chopping. Yeah. There was uh, a great head explosion great, in Chopping Mall. Great yep. head explosion. This is the movie mall. This is the Brentwood Galleria hmm. where every mall the movie of the 80s, 90s. The initiation did not take place here, right? We know, we know this. I no, the initi- it didn't look, look like that. the initiation. No. But it looked like uh, Commando. Yep. Yeah, it looks like every like a California. Every, mall. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're saying maybe Body Double. We don't know. Well, that no, one I didn't have. You saw the, sure you saw the elevators. The elevators so. from Body Double. I'm gonna guess so. Maybe the hallway from Terminator Two might have been in this. May- I don't know. It that's was what, like see, that's what I was thinking. Like the back hallway from Terminator yeah. Two feels like it was done there. Uh, I'm pretty sure we explored the history of this when we when we did uh, what kill you, box cho- or well, chopping cho- mall. Chopping mall. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure we talked about like it, when it was used and what movie. Okay. It was All a right, so we're, we're there again. In, uh, yes. <laughs> um, we have returned. This is a movie of, uh, uh, so it's a horror movie, uh, slasherish kind of thing. Yes. Uh, you're going to have a lot of killings. Uh, there's going to be a phantom. Um, there's going to be unrequited love. Mm. And there's going to be a lot of car chases and explosions and stunt work, mm-hmm. which you may not uh, kind of think that you're getting into. When you start this movie, and, and a lot of Polly Shore, and there's yeah. so much more. Yeah, yeah. I thought for sure it was just going to be much more of like a s- smaller, trimmed down mm-hmm. slasher, just in a mall. Yeah, I thought it was not gonna so be. many explosions. Yeah. I'm grateful for them. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, no, there, it's yeah, a pleasant surprise. Yeah, yeah. there's wild, like... there's wildlife and <laughs> yogurt. Yeah. yeah, there's so there is, much. There's, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel. <laughs> But I feel like, like it's all. Uh, I know it's not, but I feel like it's all because of Gregory Scott Cummins. Like I feel like he the, brought all that with us, like mm-hmm. stunt work, explosions, like sticks. That, it follows. Right. Him, I know right? it's not, but yeah. it feels like yeah. it. Yeah, just because we know his history. Like he was okay. also a consultant on this. That's yeah. what it yeah. feels yeah. like. You know, it would be yeah. good if they like if we blew it up and he fell over the edge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but and turns out he was just hired. Okay, so who is Gregory Scott Cummins, and why is he slowly becoming our favorite actor? He's. An appearance on many movies. Who is he? Uh, why is he making appearance in iconic movies? That's the thing. He doesn't he's just show up in any movies. Because we did Stone Cold. Stone Cold, mm-hmm. which is a great action movie, mm-hmm. and he's great in it. And he's good yeah. in it too. Uh, uh, action USA, yep. which he's even better in. Yeah. Which is, although none of I can't speak to this because I don't remember, remember it yes. because you have a hard time remembering uh, yeah. Action USA. No, I, Panama. I'm yeah. sitting. Panama. We keep saying Action USA, and I was like, is that Invasion USA? Yeah, I yeah, honestly yeah. don't no, remember. He drives through people's houses and they explode. That happens in Invasion USA too. It sounds like a great movie. It's better in Action USA, <laughs> yeah. but Action USA was more of the uh, had more of the uh, lethal weapon feel to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The on the edge uh, partner with his, with, you know, his black. I'm too old for this shit. Partner. I do remember okay, this. yep, yep, yeah, yep. Who now it's coming constantly back. wants to be called Panama. Yep, <laughs> yep. It's like yep, that's what people okay. call me. No, that's what you call me. Yeah. <laughs> I do buddy. remember this. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Gregory Scott Cummins is also known to an entire generation of people as Max, Max Dad. Dad on It's Always Sunny, <laughs> the, can- the cannibal serial killer. Which I, yes. I'm gonna have to just go. Look yeah. up scenes of him being Max Dad. Yeah, I'm very curious around. now. It's it, throughout the entire series he pops up. <laughs> I feel like too. he just it's shows wonderful. up wide eyed every now and yes, then. Yes, that's and, literally like, what causes happens. havoc and then leaves because he's yeah. always like like strung out, drunk. Like yeah. that's what he yeah. feels like he yeah. should that's be. That's his energy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is. Like, yeah. In this movie, the he's, eyes. he's yep. an assassin turned. Uh, well, yeah, he's a hired assassin. Basically, yes. I'm getting the idea he's a because like the 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 thing that uh, identifies him is a medal. That he it's wears a, okay, his let's earring. All, let, it's an earring. Yeah. Let's all stop. He wore a medal on his ear. It's yeah. an earring. It's like he a wore me- an earring. It's like a medallion earring. Yeah. 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 But like, I guess, uh, like a patron saint, it feels yeah. like. Yeah. But it's like, ear. I got the feeling that maybe he was ex military, now doing contract killings, and it's like, that's how it always take goes. It up. Right? Because yeah. it's just, okay. That's, do just, you guys that's think, just how it goes. Do you think there's like a parallel universe where, like, 
uh, Gregory Scott Cummings as like leads canon action movies. Like right. he's the it Chuck Norris, like, right? right? That's what the the, yeah. the thing because Action USA feels like. Yeah. That's his lead role yeah. in these type of movies. I'm sad he didn't get that. Yeah, and didn't actually become, yeah. That would the been other uh, Saturday Night Freak Show wannabe movie that hasn't made it yet, mm-hmm. and he's in his Hack-A-Lantern. I've had that on my <laughs> list for a long time. They've not done hack Did we watch it down here for Joe Bob at some point? Maybe, yeah, I've had that yeah. on my list for a while. That, I, ooh, oh, okay. But he was yeah. in that, too, yeah. 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 But no, that bits, puts him on the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame. Yeah, he should be. He's if on. we haven't already done it for those three movies that we did. Yes, he drove a car through the wall of fame and now he's stuck yeah. to it and it blew up yep. yeah um so well we there's bu- another guy that's that's one movie away from getting on the wall now Derek rydell that guy who would that be eric, eric. eric. Was eric. Yeah. yeah he was he in played popcorn. eric matthews he in played eric movie. matthews yes. only in this Which movie took me out of this movie entirely when <laughs> i saw matthews. that yeah. i just i couldn't think of anything with boy meets world ever seeing that oh, yeah. i was like oh my god we all collectively heard, wow. just heard feeny yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. so just he's the, the titular eric uh, yes. yeah, as you said also in the movie popcorn yep. with uh, jill sholin mm-hmm. i'd love to be titular someday so <laughs> we're introduced to eric creeping through the uh ductwork of the uh, wood, Woodbridge, Wood, Bridge, wood, wood Midwood, Midwood. Uh, Midwood. Wall, Mall, and he takes a mannequin head and chips off the face to make his phantom his mask. Phantom mask, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. and he kills a guard. Yep. So we're like, oh, this guy's a psycho. You know, yeah. right off the bat, there's a lot of conflicting information that we're given, and we're supposed to feel different things for him that yeah. Yeah. it feels like are not uh, all tied together, uh, like a lot of the movie. Feels um, like we're missing a whole movie before this. Yeah. <laughs> As to how we should feel about Eric. Mm-hmm. Well, there's that extends to like the opening introduction of the characters where we meet uh, Melody. Mm-hmm. Yes. Who is the Christine of this movie. But yeah. Melody, you know, I'm guessing where they're going with the Phantom of the, uh, the Opera thing mm-hmm. with the, the mm-hmm. music. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's Melody. And uh, she's getting a job at the brand new mall. It's opening on the 4th of July, mm-hmm. right? And Rob Estes, who you may remember from Silk Stockings. And Gilmore Girls. And Gilmore Girls. He was just Mariano's just dead. dad for two episodes <laughs> in Gilmore Girls. And 90210. Yep. yep. That makes yep. sense. Uh, is a journalist photographer mm-hmm. who, like, because the, as they're introducing these characters, right, it's like, Hey, you look familiar," he says to her as they meet. You know, in the in the Didn't mall. Did you fall apart last year? And like, he's really <laughs> blunt about yeah. it. Like, yeah. Didn't you have a breakdown last year? I heard you. I thought you had a uh, tough in that time. fire. And she's yeah. like, "Yeah, Eric was murdered." And we're like, "I don't even know what the hell is happening." <laughs> yeah, who's Eric? Yeah, who's like, Eric? I'll, Didn't I'll, you have a breakdown last year? Oh, sign me up. Yeah. Can we start seeing each other? Or? Yeah. yeah. So it's a lot of brand new information Makes brought sense. in. Are they, but are they doing this to be like, okay, folks, this is the sequel to the movie that you? You, you know, you didn't. You, re- you forgot that you saw it last year. <laughs> but, but, but what would the movie be? Just I, Eric and Christine burning down in their house? Like you know, what I'm saying, like what would oh no, this movie a, be? Getting busy a lot the, in her silk I sheets can, in I, the bedroom. Right, that's right, true. That's there's very, a lot. No, of I can see a whole aspects. story before the the burning at the end of that takes Eric. Of what though? Like there's a whole movie in there. There's other murders. But like and, I'm and, saying, and, like and, uh, construction plots. And, <laughs> I don't uh, think his uh, origin dirty... story is that important. No, no, I, I, I don't think <laughs> so either. I'm just saying yeah. it could be there. Yeah. I don't know. He doesn't have any like. I mean, what is he going to explain his super? No, or something? no. Like, I feel like no... the the first movie is more about the the corrupt people like taking yes. the properties to build them oh, all. So it's That's like the straw yeah. So there would be other murders that. of Eric's, yeah. uh, maybe of Eric's friends around that before. I think they're, yeah, but we have because no, the, no, ma- the mayor even said that like she's cleaned up messes before. Like there's yeah, there's like, corruption. I, I think the only w- <laughs> the only reason a prequel would exist to this is to just drop hints for this movie. Now. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's the like, only because reason it would be there. Now. We have no reason to believe that Eric was a bad person before this happened to him. Well, you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. So like, seems like no, a good kid. So that, that's yeah. what I'm saying. There's no story there. But then, he's, if he's well, a normal no, but he's, person. He's like Harvey Dent in the Dark Knight. He was like he was a great guy beforehand. And then someone fucked with him, and he's literally yes. But you don't get a prequel story of Harvey Dent just being normal you dude don't. that's my point yes well, you get a little bit of it you get more he's literally harvey Dent. he's harvey yeah. yeah but that like i guess that's the thing it's like you know you so you know if eric is this victim who would you know was injured in a fire mm. you know we're told this at the beginning we're going to find out how this happened you know as the course of the movie goes on but then it's like okay are we supposed to treat him as like the victim who gets burned 
And then, you know, I suppose you're supposed to think that and that made him go insane, right? And that's why mm-hmm. he just kills this rando security guard. Because what do you have against the security guard? I think it's more, they. this is my home. They burned right, down they my have, home and built on top so of they my home. Built them all. This is my turf. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they have built them all on top of his home. Yeah. Where he once lived. So anybody who's there who is not Melody. Yeah, they're all fair game. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. f- fair game, a threat. You mm-hmm. did this to me. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. So Part of the whole because Empire. Colin, anyone who shops at this mall is complicit in what happened. To I him. think. Yeah. Okay. That's is how he that's looks at it. Yeah. Okay. So he lives in the basement of his own home, which now has a mall <laughs> built on top of it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, practices- seems like an upgrade to me, but okay. You know? <laughs> he practices bow work and lifting, and mm-hmm. yes, who knows we, what else? He's martial not a Mary Sue. Martial arts. He's training. a martial artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, now that's the prequel information that I need to the know. Pre- the the martial arts stuff. I need to know if he was. Uh, if he was a proficient in martial arts before he was burned alive, or if that was just part of his mall training. I like I it. I mean, you saw him mall. in bed. Since we will not get the prequel, <laughs> I like it as part of his mall training. Mall training? Yes. Okay. <laughs> to, Who to taught him? Like, did he Did he watch videos? Videos. Okay. He watched uh, Ninja Turtles movies. Maybe he went to... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Learn so, from that. I mean, I just want to get this straight, right? We're saying, okay, knowing that where this movie is going... That there is a, uh, so this girl, Melody, and Eric uh, were an item. Yes. He lived in a house that a greedy developer wanted to make a mall there. Yep. They burned him out. He was injured. Okay. And everybody mm-hmm. thought he was dead. Yes. For a mm-hmm. year, he's been living in the same place as the mall is constructed mm-hmm. over the top of his house. Yes. He never makes contact with his girlfriend. And then on the day that the mall opens, he starts sending her gifts to remind her of him. And then is basically stalking her and getting revenge and killing all these people who fucked him over. But never in that year. All he did was train. Well, mm-hmm. he had martial to, re- he arts had to recover and- from it all, first of all. Then yeah. he's got to go through the shame of being uh, burned. And he doesn't want the love of his life to see him like that. Right. Um, it takes a long time to heal from that, Colin. To heal from it, yeah, both <laughs> physically, mentally, he's obviously still getting over it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it took him some time. And then yeah. he said, well, oh, then he saw, oh, the grand opening. And then his this plan, is my plan. Mm-hmm. Then his yeah. plan came wait together. for the grand opening. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she also, thinks- maybe, maybe, because it's been a year that they've been constructing and building this mall, maybe he was trapped under there with all the construction. See, this would be better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he had to dig his way through. Yeah. The, yeah, it took him a year to get there, and the whole time he was yep. working up his strength. Rats. Right, right, rats. rats. Oh. Yeah. Now, that dude's too strong to just be surviving on rats. Mm. He had, like, a pizza delivered there. Whenever. Yeah, he had a, pro- a yeah. protein shake. Uh, <laughs> you so, imagine him in his underground kitchen? Yep. <laughs> making a I mean, protein shake? I mean, his layer was pretty nice. Mm-hmm. It was he had really nice. nice. Yeah, nice mm-hmm. amenities. Nice yeah. Yeah. The floor is couch, a very flammable mm-hmm. couch. Yep. He had, uh, flammable couch. Some statuary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. some art. Uh, one of he's those. Got a, he's got a lights. killer stereo system down there. <laughs> yeah, and, and even a, a, a audio visual setup. Yeah, because he steals a bunch bad. of stuff from the stores. He steals a couple of video cameras. And he's a bro. Uh, he gets to work mm-hmm. out, watch TV, hang out on mm-hmm. his nice couch. Yep. Yeah. Gets a crossbow, which is like. Such a brutal weapon to me because yeah. like it fires bolts so fast, you know. We only that, oh, that once, oh, didn't oh, we? Oh. Yeah, 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 just that the was, ones. It was a weird setup. We're seeing we see him steal the crossbow at the very beginning of the movie. You're know, like, this is gonna go somewhere. I think he stabs maybe the guard with the crossbow arrow, and that's so, unconfirmed. Yeah, it's very, very dark. Too dark. Too <laughs> dark. The guard's body is uh, never found, I don't believe, right? No, so they there's all no just suspicion going on here. So there's a grand I, I opening. I think it's seen later on. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, in the, yeah. In the first work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I think that. Oh, no. The oh, first guard, I don't think no. it's seen. That's right, because a guard is set on fire at some point, but I think it's guard number two. So there's a grand uh, opening mm-hmm. that takes mm-hmm. place at the mall. Mm-hmm. This is attended <laughs> by the mayor. And the mall's owner, the mayor of Midwood, is played by Morgan Fairchild. Sure, God bless her. Uh, of Falcon Crest. <laughs> <laughs> Falcon Crest. Wow. Oh boy. Well, oh, I'm like, wow. why was Morgan Fairchild famous? Right. I mean, like, this, uh, like daytime the, soaps, right? Daytime, yeah. soaps. daytime soaps. Yeah. I don't remember what it was called. It wasn't no. one of the famous ones. I don't think. I don't remember. She was um, on Dallas. She, no, she was on. It was one of those weird daytime ones. Yeah. I looked it up and I was like, I don't remember. Like burning, that light. burning light or burning. Guiding uh, light. 
No, okay. One Life to Live? No, it was less famous than those. It doesn't feel like it was any of those. What was Touched by an Angel about? Were there angels in there? Yeah, that was a very... My mom used to watch that all the time. I've seen like every episode. Oh, that sounds familiar. Yep. Uh, Irish uh, angel. Anyway, <laughs> Del Reese was her. Yeah, earthly, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, all right. That meant, yep. Gotcha. Um, apparently, and Colin watches Touch by an Angel. I'd watch Del Reese. Watch Touch by an Angel. Yep. Yeah. I know. All I know is they did a Del Reese's pieces <laughs> sketch, sketch for In Living Color. I'm oh, pretty sure. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the uh, yeah. The, yeah. the owner of the uh, mall is uh, what was his name? Uh, Jonathan Goldsmith. And yes. we were like, uh, oh, that's uh, the DeSecchi's guy. Yeah, that's the yeah. most interesting, interesting man in the man. world. <laughs> um, although you probably wouldn't recognize him without the beard. No. but yeah, he's yeah. No, but if you watch that and know this, you can see it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You're just like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And he has a vagrant son. Uh, I still don't really understand the point of him, but okay. Awesome a- kill later. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> and true, he's uh, true. Is it Tom Fridley from Friday the 13th Part 6. Yeah. We're seeing a lot of like yep. famous, yep. you know, it's like, oh, that person was in this. And, yeah, you know, yeah. A lot of, oh, that guy's. Yeah. 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 And his court. character is very much, my dad owns them all. I can do whatever. Yeah, I he's want. a mall rat. Yeah. 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 But his dad owns them all. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 I guess that's a, like, he didn't have a crew. No, he doesn't no. have a crew. No. Where was the street toughs? Right. No he one wants him. to be his friend. Yeah. 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 He That's because he's burned all the drug dealers that he knows. Yep. Yeah. Like, he mm-hmm. hasn't paid them back. Like, he has narc energy. Like, yeah. He has, yeah. He has very, like, he owes people some Well, shit. there's literally a scene when he goes up to Dos Equis and he's like, <laughs> let me borrow your car. And he's like, no, you've already wrecked two of my cars this month. He's like, yeah. fine, I'll just take mom's. Take mom's <laughs> car. <laughs> <laughs> like that's his attitude. Yep, and he's full head to toe denim. I think. I mean, he may have a vest. I'm not sure. Like, homeboy's worked three cars now <laughs> in he's a month. Just, he's just like, where? What's he doing with his life? Yeah, like, where no, are you just going? Robbing son? Uh, arcade machines. It really the... is. Um, Pauly Shore. Ah, Pauly Shore. Is Pre-wees. Yeah, yeah. Pre-wees. Pauly Shore. Yeah. Now, yeah. So that's what's is this interesting. Our, is this our first Pauly Shore movie that we've done? Uh, yes. Wow. wow. I mean, that sounds right. I yeah. can't imagine. Son-in-law yeah. has made it to the in the army now. In the army, yeah. that's I like that. Movie. Or, uh, <laughs> what was the jury one? Uh, jury duty, jury yeah. duty, which is a horrible movie. Biodome. Don't ever watch it. Biodome. Biodome. I've seen Biodome more times than I. Oh, oh, I had an older sibling that was obsessed. I've seen it so many times. <laughs> so let me ask you this: Watching <laughs> Pauly Shore in a pre Pauly Shore fame situation, what it's was weird. he? He's it's still Pauly Shore. Yeah, but it's toned down a lot. It's it, toned well, down yeah, a lot. Not, yeah, as well, much as he can suppress it. He's not the star. And he knows that in this, but when he gets to the point where he is a star in his movies, he goes full Paul Shore yeah. star. Like yeah. it's not total opposite. Like you know, some people like they they don't have an accent, and yeah. then right. later on in their career they have an accent. It's not like that. He's still Pauly Shore, yeah, just very tame, as subdued as he gets. Yeah. I would say yeah, he doesn't go full carrot top. Yeah, because yeah. he's, he's like in, a, in a dramatic role mm-hmm. in a in a horror movie. Dramatic? He's not. No, he's not dramatic. He's, he's not the dramatic. Uh, purveyor of uh, frozen yogurt because we remember those frozen yogurt stands. Yeah. Only he's a practical joker and likes to put yeah. edible ears. Yeah. In, in his. I was looking for more explanation on that. Yeah, it was yeah. just for the the gag later on that didn't play. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 There was it's a done. gag where a security guard, a lecherous security guard, who's watching. So they don't have cameras in the women's changing. Areas I believe I that hope is not illegal. No, they don't right. have that. I'll bet they did at some point. <laughs> yeah, well, they do before in, they decided it was illegal. I mean, Geek Squad gets up to all kinds of gross stuff. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, so I'm mm-hmm. sure it happened at some point. They're like, "Well, we can't do this." this well, this security guard spying on everyone, including. Uh, I mean, Chuck Berry had cam- toilet cameras in his restaurant bathrooms. Remember Jesus. that. Yeah, but no one else remembers that. No, no, nope. yeah. wasn't yeah. wasn't yeah. top of mind. Not at the. You know, I mean, I assume like this is like the mall security camera system where the security guards, including Ken Foray, Ken Foray's in this yeah. movie. Uh, yeah, not not even billed in the opening no. credits. No, he's like a co-starring at the end, but it's like he's the main security dude. Yeah. While by attrition, the other ones get killed. Yes, um, in this movie, so you get a bonus Ken Foray. Um, 
Always nice. And Brink Stevens was topless in the in the the security camera footage. Yep. Scream Queen Brink Stevens. And then so that lecherous guard wanders off, like going, There's something in the in the air ducts. The most interesting man comes down and says, Check this knocking in the air ducts. Go oh, check because it out. Uh, uh, an air duct uh, utility worker is gets his face slammed into the a fan. fan. Into a fan. And yep. Shredded. Mm-hmm. Why did air kill, kill that want, guy? He's on his turf. He's in his turf. A light blood mist that came down on the guy. He's like, We need to check that vent. That would have been better. That's what I thought was going to happen, but it did not. So the security guard goes to check this out, and he is murdered in a way that causes his eyeballs to pop out. What was I can't remember what. Oh, we get squeezed. He he get the fork truck. Yeah. Pushed up against the electrical box. Oh, yeah. he did. The forklift, like the Final Destination 3 kill when the forklift squishes. Yeah. Did it seem weird to you that we never got a shot of the forks on the forklift truck? I yeah. wish I would have liked that, yeah. yeah. It would have been nice. Yeah. But it usually but gives was, the precursor somebody yeah. getting squeezed. It was, but also I think they got around that because they put a big box or pallet on there yeah. that squishes yeah. him. So yeah. we yes. don't get a, something going through him. We get him pinned up against the electric We get box. impalement later that makes up for it. That's true. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the guy's eyeball pops out mm-hmm. and into the yogurt that's yeah. Gonna go to the Tasty Freeze place or whatever. Mm-hmm. It ends up in a box of of, of yogurt freeze dust, dried yogurt. powdered <laughs> yogurt. Yeah. yeah, what was that? That's that was not weird. How you make frozen yogurt. Mm. But okay. That's. I mean, that's how they did. In this. It's like uh, the the shakes that McDonald's makes. They come from powder. They're they're. It's like uh, when I was telling right? Colin they're, about uh, how partially shakes. gelatinated. Yeah, what is the The Simpsons had a good joke. Oh. Wonder, you can't even call it a shake. It was a partially yeah. gelatinated something or other. Um, it's like I was telling Colin about how uh, Panera makes their mac and cheese. Mm. <laughs> oh. If you guys haven't seen it, look it up. <laughs> it's uh, easier than you think. <laughs> um, so uh, so there's a whole lot of, of stuff going on here, right? Mm-hmm. Because uh, Eric is wandering around and trying to attract the attack. I don't know. He, so he sends Melody... Flowers. Mm-hmm. Uh, he plays her song on the, the jukebox, jukebox at the restaurant where she works, which is Even called though she, Sleuths. She presses a button and the song comes up. The song comes so up. It's weird. But that's what she said. She said, like, oh, that I hit the button and it played a different song. It played our song. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, yeah. So that's why that she's off? freaked out. Which I believe her song is uh, performed by the amazing Stan Bush, who also did The Touch. Uh, the song from the Transformers movie yes. and used in Boogie Nights. Nice. Yes. Stan Bush. Oh, my God. You got the power. I love yep. um, So he's, and he, he also leaves a dress for her in her car. Yes. Mm-hmm. And she's leaving her shift for the night mm-hmm. where she is attacked. There's yes. shit going on all the time. In this all the time. A lot of brutal attacks on women in this movie that go there on are. for a really long time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did not expect that. Yeah. Yeah. So she's like mugged, right? There's a, a mugger. That's yeah. what we're saying. A yeah. guy in a ski mask yep. attacks her. But out of the darkness comes a <laughs> savior yes. with a crossbow. Yeah. Or, yeah. Literally like illuminated from behind yeah really. on the he roof is, of the is, mall yes. yeah <laughs> yeah and then he shoots the mugger in the arm with, with the crossbow, a, with yeah. The crossbow yeah. who then runs off god how much would that fucking hurt a lot a lot oh, <laughs> you have a, a lot. as much as it looked like it hurt in this in movie your i know but do you ever think like i don't like i know getting shot hurts but i don't know what it feels like you know what i'm saying oh yeah, yeah you yeah. know what i'm saying like i don't know what it mm-hmm. feels like to be like, shot is there that how first, do you imagine like, it you yeah. don't feel it like you do when you stub your toe you, yeah. you know you stubbed your toe and, you know it's coming the yeah, pain comes. yeah so you just start you know, you're like ah you yeah. just start yelling just yep. to uh-huh. subdue the pain right off <laughs> the bat. And then it hurts really, really bad. Yeah. I imagine like, like time when you get a shot in arm and it's sore afterwards, just like quadruple that by a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, I have an arrow in me. I know, I, Sounds I, like I'm asking to be shot, but I'm not. I, I have to find out what it's like. like. No, I understand your curiosity because yeah, like, you always yeah. want to be like, I don't want to get shot, but I just want it to graze me in the back of the like, leg. Yeah. I just, well, just want to know what that feels like. It's like, you know, like when you go to the doctor and they have the pain chart and they're like, oh, wait, what out of 10? It's like, well, what's a 10? Like, I don't, I don't. You know, like, is a 10 what being shot is? Like, I don't know. Right. I've never been shot, so I don't know what 10 feels like. You right. know, like, you pull out a gun. It's like, give me your toe. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't know what's happened to me to gauge my pain. Yeah, exactly. How am I supposed to gauge this? I'm going to go. I'm going yeah. to shoot I'm going to fly. Yeah. Like yeah. And then it may subside over some period of time. Yeah. Probably yeah. as you're bleeding out and as you're dying. Yeah. You're, oh, yeah. It'll definitely you. go down. Yeah. The less blood you have, <laughs> you get cold and, yeah. Um, <laughs> you're lying so, on the ice. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, where are we? So, um, oh, so she gets mugged, yeah, yeah she gets and, mugged, yeah. and then uh, they tell the police, but telling the police is telling Ken Foray, yeah. so yeah, his security guard is the police because it seems like this mall is a town, 
in and of itself. <laughs> the, yeah. the small is because, Midwood. Because because literally, all the people the live. Mayor, all the people in the town live there. in this mall. Yeah, yeah. And they come and out of little shacks. In the the mayor's office is in this mall. Well, literally, the, the person that finds her after she gets mugged is the mayor. Yeah, and she was like, "Well." I'll let the police know, but you should probably go home and get some rest. It's like, no, that's not how that works right. when you're, when you've been mugged. Like, you kind of go talk to them now. Mm-hmm. She goes home to the sporting goods store, gets in a tent. <laughs> <laughs> well, the uh, dead body of the, um, the, the, the lecherous, the, the peeper, uh, mall yes. cop falls from the ceiling in the uh, owner's office. Mr. Purdue, Mr. Pur, Pur, Pervin, Pur. The most interesting Dos Equis, yeah. Dos Equis <laughs> falls and he's like, Oh my god. Very under muted kind of reaction. And so then he gets yeah. on the phone and he's like, I'm gonna need to hire you again. You're really like, who's he mm-hmm. talking to? And then Gregory Scott come and shows up. That's right. And then Bravo becomes a mall security guy so we're like aha the assassin hitman who burned down eric's house is now and almost hired. burned up melody because yeah. we see her getting covered in, in flashbacks covered in gasoline from somebody so these flashbacks yes yeah. sexy uh, and and otherwise yeah because uh there's a lot of sex going on in her high school satin uh sheets in her bedroom it's a special, all lit by it's a candles. special moment it's probably like prom it was that's what it felt like on 4th of July, because it was a year ago, but okay, mm-hmm. they celebrate. You know, <laughs> it's a big, big event. Yep. Uh, they Some come people out get really nowhere. horny around 4th of July. Yep. You can't so, help that. But the reason I guess I'm bringing it up is because we see, like, you know, uh, Gregory Scott Cummins has been hired, and so we see him lighting a match and burning the body of the guard. Right? Yep. He's disposing right. of the evidence. And then we cut to uh, Eric and Melody getting busy in her bedroom and we're like like silk sheets candles everywhere like a michael bolton music video yeah. is romantic Set to heart yes. of darkness or what a stan bush song mm. yeah. and we're like what's happening because whose flashback is because when you find out it's a flashback mm. or it's a nightmare yeah. she wakes up from she does the burning <clears throat> and uh it was just like and it, but again i, I think it later Another sex scene came out of like the blue. Yeah. And we're like, what are we? It was like a continuation of that sex scene. So, in a kind of a (laughs) sort of unrelated, but maybe thing, um, Melody is saying, like, well, well, all we got to, yeah, all we got to do is find, you know, because she's been mugged. We got to find, I was rescued by somebody who shot a bolt through this guy's arm. So we just got to find somebody. And he limped away. We got to find somebody with a with a wound, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know. And so, who does it turn out to be? The mugger. Dos Equis. No, no, it's the piano player. There's, there's uh, as oh, as all yeah. malls should yeah. have. There's a uh, mustachioed piano player who had uh-huh. one scene. Who had one? Like, we saw in the background before. Where he was going on break. That was his scene. <laughs> and then he goes on break to the bathroom, and then he takes off his very nice jacket, and it's revealed that he's got a fucking huge, huge bleeding <laughs> yeah. wound in his shoulder that he's been playing through. And it's just like, did you not bandage this up, dude? No, but what's yeah. revealed I, that I he is maybe the monster. It was bleeding through the the not bandage? that much. <laughs> That's <laughs> like a lot of blood. Out. Like, ooh, oh, I should probably take care of this. And yep. he does. He's like, well, first I have to shit. <laughs> <laughs> it really is because, like, I should take care of this, but I have to shit right now. So he goes and sits. And I mean, he when you gotta his, go, you gotta. You gotta go. go. He untucks his very long uh, shirt. Yeah. Um, there's because uh, he's got full on like tails and everything. Yeah. Right, oh, it is. Yeah. yeah, but there's also uh, prior to this, we've seen uh, Eric. Uh, working on the pipes in the back. But he has rooms. like a bag that's he's like an animal in a bag. Yeah. That mm-hmm. he's loading into this pipe. And oh, what could that be? And it's revealed as the cobra head comes up <laughs> in the middle of the toilet yeah. that a snake has been set loose within the pipe. That was yeah. quick. A cobra. That has was been almost set direct. Loose. direct. <laughs> like he must have been right below the dude on the toilet yeah. when he yeah. loaded that in. He even yeah. knows the pipe system of this building. Uh, he knows been, everything. Right. He was there when they were building it. I'm sure he <laughs> was am, mapping out shit. Okay. I'm slightly convinced that he was part of the construction crew and that's how he made money and survived <laughs> there you go oh, that's, that's, not, not, a that's not a bad idea that's yeah. not a bad idea that's not a bad idea see it's like that's Aaron. we don't talk to that but guy where did yeah. this very cobra burned. come from and why is it trained to stalk it doesn't matter well, there's a cobra thing, in this movie there's a lot of shit that goes on in this movie where you know you're like okay you but know, a cobra's not even a snake you could get at a pet store right. you know what I'm saying yeah. like if it was a pet store snake I'd be like okay well yeah. mall pet store you yeah because that's where I was going with it's like since no one ever seems to leave the mall you assume that everything that we see in this has been right from a mall store 
including the C4 yeah. that uh, Eric plants later to blow yes. up. They used to sell that in sporting goods stores. Didn't you ever go to well, Gander Mountain and get your C4? <laughs> See, this just this goes along with my theory that he worked on the construction crew. He made connections. Uh, they, those this? people know people in the black market. Get, get him snakes. Explosives, yeah, whatever he. I got a snake guy. I got a C four guy. What do you need? Yeah, I mean, he I got does a live guy. under yeah. the mall, and maybe a king cobra was going through there, and he caught it you with his know. ninja skills. He because he does have ninja yeah, skills. King he cobras are wild in Brentwood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, Mid- Midwood, Midwood. It's right? filmed at Brentwood. Yeah. Okay, right. yeah. Uh, but we're saying that this should be the most memorable scene from the movie, and maybe for some of you it is, but for us. When the Cobra made an appearance later on, we had already forgotten there was yes. a scene involving a King Cobra. Why does that scene not, uh, you Cause know? Because you don't see enough. There, yeah, there's not a m- enough build up to it. It's just like it's real quick. It's like, oh, this is our mugger. It's we just discovered re- who he is. We, it's mostly yeah. reaction shots, too. Yeah. yeah. We've also seen a movie of, an, of a snake coming up through a toilet. That's, <laughs> that's way more help, memorable. Which I couldn't help you reminded <laughs> that's of. That's right. Because there was a rocket launcher, if I remember, uh, deployed in that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nope, yeah. not in this one. There's, yeah. there's the actually lights an off as a exploding snake in that movie. Yeah, yeah. So. That's a snake that's uh, been injected with the venom of cancer rats. Yes. Yep. Yep. Cancer, cancer-ridden rats. Uh, uh, the movie hard ticket to white. Hard ticket to white. Yes. Uh, uh, go, watch. Yeah. go watch that movie. Um, Phenomenal film. Yes. <laughs> so we, uh, but this whole time, also Melody has been uh, conspiring with another person, the photographer slash journalist, who's been in part of this, who's who's investigating what's been going on as he discovers it, trying <laughs> trying to take pictures of suspects, terrible pictures of suspects. I've yeah. never seen ter- uh, a picture so bad in my life. Oh, it's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Because it's, oh, it's it's he's, cause he, uh, um, he's in the Sam Goody, right? Right. Melody recounts her whole thing about she saw the guy with the metal in his ear and all that stuff. And then <laughs> what's his name? Blank. Uh, Stairs who, and crickets. What, which guy? The guy who's the photographer. Oh, the Rob oh uh, Peter? Uh, what was Paul? his name? I was... Mary? <laughs> <laughs> the one, the I, one I, played I, by I, Rob I, S. I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like it's yeah. Peter. I don't know. Uh, may, may, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. It, it was not Raul, so he's got no, the wrong name not. in this one. Um, but he's in, he's investigating this stuff, and he's, and he's seen the security guard on the cameras and everything that looks like what Melody was saying. So he's following him around, mm-hmm. goes into the Sam Goody, and he tries to yeah. take a picture via the re- reflective security camera thing. Yeah. Very and, covert. And, and it's not, and he's like, I'll get a picture of him and I'll bring it to you and you can see who it is. And so then he meets with uh, Melody later and he's like, can you can you tell who it is from the picture? And then they cut to the picture, <laughs> it bl- and it's the blurriest yes. fucking picture in the world. She's like, oh, I don't know. Oh, you know? maybe it's like it's the worst. It's it's, it's yeah. pretty bad. Well, the the you know I think I pointed out as we were watching because I was like, now how does he recognize this guy as a suspect? Because she's like. You know, he had a he's the only guy in the world who wears a metal an hanging from his ear, and uh, then he's like, "Oh my god, this is a guy who has a metal hanging from his ear." Yep, the only guy in the eighties with an earring. Ear with an earring. Yep. Uh, but he looks. It is sinister. Peter, by the way. It is oh, Peter. Okay, good. Okay, because <laughs> G- Gregory Scott Cummins gives off that kind of that vibe. Mm-hmm. He he's does. the bad guy, and so this actually did start like the first chase scene. Right in the movie, but that one wasn't all that impressive. Oh no, it was because uh, doesn't like uh, there is, they don't care in this chase scene. There is yeah. uh, it doesn't matter any bystander. They he's they will go through them. over bystanders. He's uh, this is Gregory Scott Cummins trying to get Rob Estes is like hanging off the top of the yeah. uh, escalator. He did that. Yes. Yes. It, it, it's right. It's just like it's a chase into an elevator and it closes. And he's like, oh, he didn't make it. And then he's on top of the elevator. Two <laughs> seconds later. Yeah, he literally like, growls into yeah. the window. He does. Yeah. It's like he's not keeping a cover whatsoever. <laughs> but then he rides up to the top and climbs over like the outer face in the door and drops, drops down. down. I was surprised we saw all that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's that was impressive. Yeah. Because it it seemed out of step with this movie, but yeah. then there's yeah. more that starts like playing into this and you're like, oh, this actually had a decent budget for its stunt work, I think. Felt like it. Yeah. yeah. We gotta talk about my favorite kill of the movie, the mall owner's kid. Oh yeah. Okay, so he. Why is he targeted by Eric first of all? Because he's a fuck. Because he's just an asshole. Did he? Did Eric have a specific run-in well, with him? Also, yeah, no. Yeah. He watches uh, the kid. He like harasses Susie, which is Melody's friend. Yeah. Yep. 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 Plus, he's the, the kid of the guy store. who basically burned up his. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Revenge. Yeah, and 
so the phantom of the mall is at the top of the escalator and takes like a climbing rope and from the top of the escalator oh, lassos this kid as he's skateboarding around first of all he baits him with a skateboard yep, yep. <laughs> which is great i'm gonna put a neon painted skateboard out here and yeah. there's no way this guy's gonna be able to <laughs> he can't to resist by. yeah he can't resist. he's like i gotta pull some tricks on that yeah. <laughs> and then he like you said he gets lassoed, lassoed. around the neck it- and, and the rope is fed into the escalator, which, again, the fear we all have yep. uh-huh. of, of somehow ending up in the teeth of an escalator. Well, uh, well, yeah. th- us specifically have that fear because locally it did happen to someone and like a kid oh. I went to school with that. I, I, this was like local news. You don't remember? Like in no. like the late 90s, I don't remember a kid got really badly hurt at the escalator to Avail Mall because his um, backpack strap got caught Ooh, in the escalator. I remember yeah. this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, see, it was again, a big thing. Everyone was, has there that was fear. lawsuits and all sorts because, of shit. It was because nuts. escalators have like there's no doesn't feel like there's any softness or comfort in those things no those are metal teeth metal yep. teeth Ugh. yep yeah, yeah, my nephew's on. terrified of them to this day. I remember as a kid, you'd jump over them as fast as you could because yeah. there was like the fear that you're going to yeah. get like caught in that thing. So this movie right. yeah. Even sometimes I'm like, maybe my shoe's going to get caught in there. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I got a loose flap well, of late, leather the on there. Lace, right? Yeah. Because yeah. 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 that's what they're doing here. He puts the, 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 the strangling rope into the escalator yep. teeth and it sucks the guy. And but I don't, I don't But he's like but hanging it, by his neck the whole way up yeah. too. That's the only, other part of it. And it only like breaks his neck and hangs him yeah. from it. I'm still yeah. waiting. Have we had the movie where some somebody gets slowly dragged in through there? As no, improbable or impossible so. as it may be. Yeah. I want someone getting dragged in through that I top. I can't believe that hasn't been a final destination kill. Well some right? Yeah. Well, like it opens was up a there, little bit and that one that like, took ah. place in the wasn't there a mall movie theater? One of, was it Final Destination 4? It might be the fourth I don't think we're going to escalate it. Sean, you're a baseball person. Are you familiar with what happened at like the Rockies Stadium escalator like I'm a decade ago? It oh. killed a bunch of people and a, hurt a, a bunch a of people. Bun- uh, hopefully yeah. at once so it, it wasn't was, an ongoing problem. It was um, it was like a crowded escalator mm. during a game that malfunctioned and they did an episode of I Survived on it where they oh, talked to survivors Jesus. and it was lit. Right. That was the most fucked up episode right, I've I'll ever have to listened go look to. That up People's like limbs getting cut off and Ooh, stuff. It was awesome. brutal. Oh I'm down. So, Escalators. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I want the slow... You know when um, uh, Christopher Lloyd gets run over by the steamroller in Roger Rabbit? <laughs> yeah. I want that sort of sure yeah. panic and death in one of those yeah. scenes. Yeah. Well, we kind of get that in this movie uh, with uh, Gregory Scott Cummins' character. So uh, Eric, um, oh, 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 so this leads to the car chase, right? right. Oh yeah, we do have a car chase because there's a car chase where the Terminator car chase. They've actually so Rob Estes is piecing together. I think this is the scene where he shows her the blurry photograph. Do you recognize <laughs> this guy? And then the guy shows up with yeah. a gun outside. They're sitting in a car. Mm. And he's like, "Get out of the car." And they get out, and then uh, I think like, she, "Do you remember me? I remember you." Yep, I almost burned you alive a year ago. Now I'm here to finish the job. Mm-hmm. And um, he gets distracted by a flash, flash and a from punch. the camera, and then they run of Rob Estes, and then car chase, right? Yeah. Which Ken Foray gets involved in because yes. he thinks that this guy is a cop you know security guard with him right. so they're chasing this car through the parking garage they legit like run over stunt people yeah it was great oh, people got hit. It. Yeah. Oh, yeah oh my god it slammed, slammed in the back them. flipped over hit and flipped stuff. in the air yeah, yeah it's nuts and it ended with a uh, car being launched into the air and mm-hmm. colliding with another car and yep. then going on fire and we were yep. like Oh, it should have exploded, but they waited until he got out of the car yep. and then it blew up. And we were like, oh, there it is. We got yeah. a little explosion out of yeah. it. That yeah. was nice. It wasn't it was- awesome. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay, big. but did you expect any say, explosions <laughs> in, uh, no, in Phantom Which of the Mall? Right, like, considering I wasn't expecting any of it, yeah. I was satisfied. Yes. Yeah. Why do we love explosions so much? I don't know. So it's satisfying. like the perfect, it is the perfect punctuation to <laughs> yep. that. Like a car has to hit, wait, boom. Yeah. It has to happen. And maybe cover it from another angle, too. Yep. Yes. Maybe you do, like, the explosion. Sometimes the they do it multiple one. times. Yeah, yeah, Sometimes yeah. they show the same explosion three times, and then you're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> because they know that's, how much we love it. That's the good stuff. Yes. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, Eric tracks I feel down. like we're not giving Polly Shore enough spotlight. <laughs> they didn't either. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I agree. I feel like he should have been a bigger part of this. Well, he serves the eyeball. 
With his, mm-hmm. uh, you know, yes. we got uh, we got uh, uh, Chekhov's eyeball that we don't want to leave dangling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. It d- is served to Susie, Susie uh, yeah. Melody's friend, who mm-hmm. just kind of like ew, because she thinks it's like the fake ear. It's mm-hmm. a prop, and so she throws yeah. it away. It would have been We're better like, if she ate it. That wasn't really a good gag. Yeah. yeah. He ate the ear. It yeah. would have been funnier if she'd eaten the mm-hmm. eyeball. Yeah. So we're like, okay, there was no real like, payoff. Yeah, it tastes like, just like Jerry. Um, how does he track down Gregory Scott Cummins? I can't remember because they end up in front of the Baylor in the. Uh, Is that when they go to Sam Goody? No, no that's that early? when Eric tracks him down. Oh no, yeah. because. Uh, at a certain point, Gregory Scott Cummins ends up at Sleuth's, which is the restaurant that Melody works at, just mm-hmm. sitting in the corner smoking with his hair. Looking all back. evil. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, More evil with his shut. leather jacket and everything. Yes. She so. looks over and like, oh, he's just staring at her smoking. Okay. So I think there ends up being a chase scene there again. Yeah, he like aggressively attacks her in the the um, back hallways that yeah. Michaela was talking about mm-hmm. earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Which Eric, ends up near the there's Baylor. There's some uh, fucking karate. There is, this is where we kicks. get karate. Yep. Yep. We do get a few, <laughs> in between all of this stuff, we do get a few shots of Eric in his lair practicing karate mm. with a, a bow staff. Lifting weights. Lifting mm-hmm. weights. Yeah. Just being a bro mm-hmm. down in this basement. It's very Mac. <laughs> yeah, it is very <laughs> Mac. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, he's been working on his super strength because in the Baylor yeah, scene, uh, Gregory Scott Cummins gets Eric in a compromising position yes. where the Baylor, you know, door lid, whatever thing yep. is coming down slowly. How many foot pounds of pressure this thing has? It's an industrial machine. I was so yeah. afraid of the Baylor at our mall. I was like, don't, I, whenever they would send me to put the cardboard boxes in, I was like, no, oh, please, I don't want to do it. Like, and they're like, it only runs Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's off the rest of the week. I'm like, I don't care. It's it doesn't still- matter. Do we see a pretty Ugh. good? You remember Intruder, the slasher movie, a cheap yes. ass? Yes, the one I brought. Yeah, yeah in, a, in a shopping or no, it was in a, a grocery, grocery store. store. Yeah, but it had. Was there a Baylor kill in that one that was pretty good? I think there was I a saw. Was. Someone's head oh, got, got sawed off. Remember? Yeah, and yeah. Saw. that was mm-hmm. great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that movie was great for its, its makeup. I don't uh, think you recommended it though, Colin. I didn't, but <laughs> I think I think if we all went back and watched, I think we'd recommend it. I think I I recommended it. I picked it. Yeah, I was. Inebriated. But uh, <laughs> Eric is able to, with his super strength, stop the Push Baylor door from back coming down. All his working out is paying uh, off. He's benching that Baylor door. Yeah. And maybe that's what, they, yeah, that's the part we didn't see where he's he, been just, like, he turns that. it on and he's just like, ah! Yeah. Practicing. That that's a great. good workout. There he, you flips, go. he flips Gregory Scott Cummins into that and yep. then uh, and it comes down. And then a mannequin head, and then a man's off. head <laughs> falls off. Yes. Yeah. And the head turns up later in the office yeah. of Dosecki's, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, who knows the, the the game is up? You know he's been identified. They know, you know, mm-hmm. like what's going on, and uh, so this kind of culminates in the. Uh, there's like a, a, a. It's not a grand opening. It's a gala. It's mm-hmm. a gala, but it's like for the investors. For the investors, yeah. yeah. But Which w- like don't you what don't you do this before you build them all, right? Well, I think this is like this is probably the day before. Or this like here's your investment. No, it already opened on the fourth day. I was like, it's been there's been people. Maybe that was a soft opening. Yeah, I think that was a soft opening because they needed to like hire people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, they're going to dedicate the the uh, Midwood Spire. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. uh, which is referred to but not actually seen. We were like, what the fuck are they right. talking about? Right, there is about? no big spire. Mm-hmm. There's baby spire. There was mm-hmm. a good payoff to this, <coughs> but it didn't, they didn't like set it up right, is mm-hmm. what it felt like. Yeah. Um, it was a little bit before this, though, because uh, Melody is uh, knocked unconscious or something and dragged by Eric. He actually gets her and takes her down into mm-hmm. his lair. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. nice right? on couch. And this is where the, the dynamic between the two finally pays off. Yes. He unmasks himself. There's a very Phantom of the Opera kind of, you know, she sneaks up behind him mm-hmm. while he's mm-hmm. working While out. he's lifting right. weights. <laughs> yeah, he's not Same. playing piano in this one. He's yeah. lifting yeah. weights. And then he's wow. like, I bought you, or I stole you all these dresses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been in love he's with you. He's very proud. He's like, look, he's in her yeah. closet. <laughs> so, and she's like, oh, Eric, you're still alive. Uh, that's Shit. great and all, but uh, yeah. It's, yeah there's, uh, see, there's this guy, Peter. <laughs> yeah, yeah I know we, kn- we knew each other f- since yeah. we were kids. And, and we his eye's fully and... in his head and yours isn't. Right. 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 He's got both his <laughs> eyes. Is that what's going on? See, this is what uh, the subtext of this is that Eric is now ugly, and so she doesn't <laughs> want him anymore. She's like, I'm dating Rob Estes. Not only is he ugly, yeah. he's, uh, his voice is altered. <laughs> he sounds like Kylo Ren in like when he has the helmet. Yeah, but just normal. But, uh, 
Yeah, it's a choice. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, I guess, you know, you're supposed to say, like, well, he's crazy. He's he sounds people. possessed. Yeah. But his throat's burned, too, right? Yeah. At least yeah, on yeah. one side. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. But I guess she doesn't know that he's killed a bunch of people. She's just like, Eric. So in my mind, right. I'm sitting there going, like, so she has been, like, my boyfriend died in a horrible fire a year ago. I'm barely getting over it but now. She, but she was also the first one to be like, what if Eric's not dead? What if he's not yeah. dead? So yeah. what did she want? I don't know. That's I why it know. felt really yeah. weird. I'm like, isn't shouldn't she be like, Eric, you're alive, but she's not. She's like, I she's just like, met this other guy. She's like, yes, I was looking right. for a reason to get out of that relationship. Yeah. I'm kind of glad he yeah. burned to the ground. That's what it, it feels doesn't make like. Sense. Yeah. It didn't make any sense. So know. he's, of course, in It seems like she's just dealing with a lot. Yeah. Has not gotten over anything. Yeah. And it's just trauma, trauma, trauma. So she acts more like like she doesn't think her attacker's dead rather right. than her boyfriend. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that is how it played. I yeah. mean, we've got like, so there's like, who's the villain? Is it Eric? Is he the monster? Yeah, I don't know who to root for. Yeah, or should we feel sorry for him? I mean, I guess I did. I'm rooting for Polly Shore. That's all yeah. I got. Yeah. And Polly Shore is yeah. still alive at this point, yes. mooning security guards in order to, to lure them out of the. Mm-hmm. the still Polly Shore. Mm-hmm. So they can, they can solve the mystery right. of where Melody went. Right. So they all end up in the fucking crawl spaces together uh, during yeah. the end of this movie. Yeah. Um, Rob also, no, Rob. Uh, Peter also ends mm-hmm. up in the lair, right? And there's a confrontation that it's ends fight. with uh, the very flammable stolen couch uh, going on fire. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Because they're smashing all the shit when they punch a TV and they smash the art, mm-hmm. the, his, his, the, the bust of yeah. whoever. They that had that on did there. not ex- uh, go on fire. No, they, no but no, they roundhouse they kicked it, it into yeah. a living, yeah. I think. I just want to make clear not mm-hmm. everything, uh, but most of the mm-hmm. items in yeah. the. Uh, yeah. the there are player. definitely spin kicks in this movie. There are spin kicks. <laughs> yeah, a lot of multiple spin More kicks. More than I thought. Miss? Yeah, this is kind of like, okay. Um,. And so uh, they're able to knock uh, Eric out and uh, in the flaming uh, basement. And so he's already set a bomb at this point. He's going to blow everything up. He's done. He's going to take them with him Mm -hmm. and her because she rejected him. We're all going to go up together. Yep. And so there's only 31 minutes. Mm Mm-hmm. It starts at 31 <laughs> Nice, okay. nice cushion. Like, it literally is enough time for everyone to get out of the mall. There's no one in the mall yeah. Yeah. by the end of this. Right. Yeah. Uh, but the big gala is happening, and uh, 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 Melody and Peter go to the mayor. And they're like, as the authority figure, here's mm-hmm. what's going on. There's a bomb in the mall, and we have to get everybody out. Mm-hmm. And surprise. She pulls a gun on him. She She's like, you shut your dirty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was very surprised. I like that she takes them back to the office to basically go like, okay, kids, mm-hmm. I'm really sorry to do this, but I've been in cahoots with the Dasecki's yes. owner because mm-hmm. re- mm-hmm. this is, we're going to make a ton of money off. This is my retirement thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, the fallacy of the talking killer, right? Mm-hmm. That uh, mm-hmm. Because uh, Eric is, you know, has woken back up and drops... From the skylight or from the ceiling yeah. into the room mm-hmm. where she's armed with a gun and doesn't shoot him. But yeah. no matter. Because I thought he, she would, he would attack her first. Yeah. But he doesn't. He attacks Peter. Yeah. He's like, I'm not done with you. Punch. Yeah. Okay, right. now I'll deal with you. The whole right. time she has a gun and doesn't do anything we're yeah. establishing. And then uh, she, he, he picks her uh, up he and presses her, her over yeah. yes. his He lifts head. her clear over his head. Body slams her out the window. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's and wonderful. She falls and in like, the perfect way. Out the window, it's like this enclosed office, like yeah. on a balcony overlooking this, like yeah. the center part of the mall. Really cool it's place great. to put an office. And where does yeah. she land? On the model on the baby of the spire. On the spire. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's beautiful. The aforementioned spire, which just shows up in this scene yep. so she can land on it. And it's like, oh my God. And then there's mass panic. That's not good enough. Polly Shore has to get on the PA system mm-hmm. yeah. and tell people they should leave yep. the mall. Yeah. Now, yeah. You've just seen a woman. Go splat right in front of you yeah. on the yeah. spire, but you should mm-hmm. probably, you know, safely uh, exit the building because it's going to explode. Yes. And then there's another fucking chase scene stunt thing. Because they all on. start going out the window up into the rafters, which yes. are hundreds of feet in the air. It's made me a little nervous. Yeah, didn't like that. More stunt work because I'm like, nobody looks like they're tethered to much. Up no. There, but yeah. Well, uh, you could see the wires, I guess. Yeah, the I saw them in a wires, couple shots. But it was pretty good because there's like a banner, right? The mm. grand opening July 4th banner. Yeah. And uh, Eric and Melody are, are well, he's chasing her out on the on this grid, grid work. And she falls and like rips the banner 
And I want to say that. Yeah, that made me nervous. I didn't yeah, like that. Ooh. Peter has to get out there to try. And so this right. is not bad, you know. Yeah. Pulls her. Uh, it's not work. It isn't. Pulls her back in. So Eric's up there by himself. But then Eric sees Dos Equis, And he's like, ooh, I forgot his fucking name. He's like, poor something or other. Yeah, he yells his name. Proctor. No, that wasn't it. Proctor. Was, and then he grabs the banner and swings into him. Yeah, swing. Over yep. railing through swing. a window. Yep. And it's, it's beautiful. Posner. 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 That's, that's it. Posner. Swings through Posner right through into his office. Do they... Well, because Posner then because starts... There's an explo- there's well, yeah, but other he, stuff. He starts... Uh, well, it wasn't his office. Oh, it was rough. It was the Sporting Goods store, 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 which sells... Flamethrowers. Well, what did they call it? Weed, weed burner. Weed burner. Yes. Which is a fucking flamethrower. It's a flamethrower. <laughs> which is great. So he flamethrowers the boss into a stack of, of whatchamacallit? Propane tanks. Uh, propane tanks. tanks. Yeah. And there's an explosion. And yeah. The store explodes. Eric, Eric comes is... flying out on fire. Yep. And we're like, wow. And then everybody, said, then you cut to the front of the mall. And everybody, oh, no, no, no. Because they got to escape. Melody and Peter have to escape with uh, 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 Paul, but Paul and Shore has found a motorcycle with a sidecar. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Because you have those in malls. Yeah, yep. great about the, the, the auto you, do. you do. I mean, yeah. if it's the car show, yeah. And shit. yeah. I know, no, I, didn't, I wasn't saying this was <laughs> no, this odd. I'm saying yeah, that's why they're cool. This is uh, why this makes sense. And you're riding the motorcycle around in the mall. And so he rides around, the, gathers people up. Yep. They got to make their way out of here as the timer on the C4 mm-hmm. counts down. It's very exciting. Very mm-hmm. exciting. Mm-hmm. They drive to the front. Uh, they get out of there as other people are escaping, and the entrance explodes. Apparently, the whole mall is supposed to have been leveled. Yeah, mm-hmm. based on what. But they're on a budget. Yeah, yeah this isn't Joel Silver. All right, like, yeah. 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 unfortunately. So we only blow up an entrance. Good enough. Mm-hmm. And then we get a uh, stock stock explosion uh, from another movie. Yeah, just a close up of a big fireball. Yeah, That's it. Well, real weird. Bummer. Yeah. 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 Um, what are you gonna do? So then our question is like, well, did uh, I don't think we actually saw Eric die. Not right? officially. But, but what's the I mean, you know, well, the, with the with the all the uh, first responders and the, the medical workers running around right outside and the re- TV reporters and yeah. the mall has been destroyed. You know, it just <laughs> opened. Yeah. It's been right. destroyed. And so that means that Eric got his revenge. Right, that mm-hmm. the mall that was uh, built on his land for him being burned is now demolished. Yes. The bad guys are all burned fucked. again. Yes, yeah, and he was burned again. So, will there be Eric three? No, because he's dead. Of course, there is no Eric two. But, right, yeah. but can we just call it Eric three? Yeah, why Eric not? Eric three. That would be great. Mall two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you say he's dead, but I mean, how are we? Because we're like. I mean, they show like a close up on his body and you're expecting like his eye to open and there'd be a jump scare or something, but there's none of that. No, he did. Which is kind of disappointing for a way to end your movie. Like, why would you even include that shot? I suppose I it's know. to have, you know, a closure to the idea. Because right. I was like, well, you can, is he And dead? you can always go back in the next movie and go right back to that shot and just have him open his eyes. So you go, is this the one that they shot twice? And then the producers uh, decide later, like, no, nah, we don't want to. Oh, yeah. I they mean, shot it, and they're just like, all right, open your eye. And they decide later if they want to keep yeah, it. Yeah, they cut before the eye opened or yeah. something. Mm-hmm. He's lying in the rubble, and it's like, okay. You know, but yes. people are going to be really confused when they go to Eric's grave, and it's been dug up. Yeah, that's true. Perfectly, <laughs> perfectly yeah. dug up. I love up. that. And yeah. it's like, uh, well, we, uh, how they're do we know? Like he escaped. If he, yeah. If he's still alive, then we should be able to go to his grave. And dig him up. It's the only way to find yep. out. Yeah, you gotta dig him up. So now people are gonna come there and be like, "Oh my god, he was a zombie! Yeah. The zombie destroyed them all." <laughs> this is the sequel. Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ken Faree can yeah, just yeah, come yeah, back. Exactly. You see, <laughs> and we're good. Wait, Ken Faree did he survive? Uh, he didn't. He didn't not survive. I think yeah. he did. I think uh, he did. Yeah, I, I would say he survived. I don't remember yeah. him. Getting so we can killed. always do a. I sequel. assume he evacuated. It feels like he's alive. Yeah, unless he was killed in the car crash, which is the last time I actually think I remember seeing him. Nah, I think he's fine. There's another guard pops up after that. The one that Polly Shore has to, uh, you know, like try and get out of the. Oh yeah, out hanging out the, in the, the thing. Yeah, the Country Luger Junior. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Explosions. Death. Mall. Revenge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> and a closing credit. Oh, yeah. 
Oh my gosh, oh, wow. this song. Which I think was, Is There a Phantom of the no. Mall? Might have been the actual title yeah. Yeah. of the, the song. <laughs> it's very catchy. Yeah. You should just look it up. Yeah, yeah. look it up. Yeah. It's got some unique listen, lyrics. Listen to the lyrics. It's catchy just as re- fuck. Just remember the time the song came out and when you yeah. look up these lyrics. Just remember, you're going to have to censor yourself while singing it out loud yeah, when you're walking to the grocery catchy. store. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's or the like next time you go to the mall. Era of like these. I'm trying to. We, we at some point we're going to have to rank these because I mean I remember the the ballad of Harry Warden. Yep, might be one of the best. Like it's a song. That's about legit the movie. good song too. That's a yeah. Great song. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, go turtle or go ninja gun. And ninja no go, one yeah. will know <laughs> as the years come and go. <laughs> yeah, of the horror. From long time ago. <laughs> so good. So good. This one, was good though. this one was good. This one was really catchy, though. Very too. catchy. Yeah. I do yeah. like this song. Did Spookies have like a song about Spookies? There was a music the video in the middle of Spookies. There yeah. was, I don't know, the end of that movie is just a long something or other chase. Yeah. It's, it's We're gonna have to a weird movie. We gotta go yeah. back. Find all the, all we, the... we gotta go back to a movie we did two episodes. I was episodes like, I don't think we have to go yeah. back. No, anymore. no, no. Just to, to <laughs> list like Jack the... from Lost. Like, we have to go back. <laughs> There's a good reference. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Reference. I, I didn't remember. never watch Lost. So I don't. Yeah. Uh, pivotal moments of the twenty two thousands, twenty tens, or whatever. Okay, so we're but gonna go to around the table and tell you whether or not you should watch tonight's movie, Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. But first, mm. we're gonna read some of your mail. The most exciting. First, we have uh, Igor's Revenge. That's right, Igor's Revenge. <laughs> Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Do you always wear that mask? Yeah, I guess he's the phantom of our little basement mall. Yeah, he's the phantom of our opera. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Well, uh, we should remind the good folks at home how they can participate in this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or by Instagram. Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> um, about tonight's movie. I was going to say, did you forget how to read? Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. So MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, uh, lets us know Ooh. the two people from tonight's movie. Although I think, right... I, that's why I'm like, it was uh, Gregory Scott Cummins already uh, on the I wall? think this is our yes. official, none of that bullshit. Oh, he was a We're stunt person on this or that, okay. but he is three movies yeah, so he on, the on the wall. Okay, Luis Alvarez, right, who you would recommend from uh, this movie as the girl dancing with Buzz in the nightclub. Okay. Buzz would be Polly okay. Shore. Yes. Yep. Uh, she was also an uncredited uh, actress as a dancer in Roadhouse. Oh, oh nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. And right. she right. was an uncredited party goer in Point Break. Nice. Oh. Welcome so she goes to a lot of uncredited oh, yeah. work. Yeah. Welcome She's to the like, hallway. She's like, oh, I want to be credited. Uh, John Walter Davis, who was Devin in Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge, a character Devin. I honestly have no idea who that is. No. no. Uh, he was also the star surgeon in the adventures of Buckaroo Banzai across the yeah. dimension, <laughs> and he was the character of Slobber in Tango and Cash. There was a guy named Slobber? I don't remember that. That makes sense. I remember Booger. Wasn't Booger from... No, that was I Come in Peace. That was oh. Michael J. Pollard, right? No, Michael J. Pollard. Was he in both? Don't Didn't know. he give You're... them the truck or something at the end of Tango? Okay. Okay. Either way, nope. welcome to the hallway, yeah. sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Scott Schneid says, read the original Phantom of the Mall script on Arrow's limited edition Blu-ray, and oh. you will be blown away by the film that could have been. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah. Well, now, Sean, you going to do that research for us? We'll <laughs> gonna see. going to get that Blu-ray? Well, we'll see. Uh, Aaron Don Gilmer says, more flashback scenes than a 90s erotic thriller. Basically. No kidding. Oh Truth. my God. So many flashbacks. Yeah. So many satin sheets. Yeah. Uh, Novato Judoka says, not cool, Cobra. Not cool. Shout out to someone's <laughs> fictional dad. Not <laughs> yeah. from this movie, though. Quickly becoming a Saturday Night Freak Show all star. I think he is, uh, you know. He is. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't think tonight. we mentioned in that scene the Cobra, like, it bites him in the junk. Yeah, he bites yeah. that guy's dick. Yeah. yeah. That's um, the last we see of it, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. But we're, what, the yeah. Cobra? No, 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 no. Just the just the guy. Just like the, he gets oh, bit yeah. in the dick, and that's it. And then you just see like a face react. 
shot, yeah. like a yeah. Yeah. He's close sitting up, there, yeah. and then you get and he, the he lights up with up. a with yep. a lighter because yep. it's very close up of well Cobra lit. going mm -hmm. out of frame and him going yeah, yeah. Yep. while he's mm -hmm. bleeding from his shoulder mm -hmm. wound. Yeah, Adam Kaler says. uh I don't remember the 80s. I don't remember <laughs> in the 80s snakes being used as reliable assassins. I'm sure when the plumbers said use the toilet snake, they meant something else. I think the guy <laughs> who got bit by the snake on his ding dong didn't try hard enough to get some <laughs> medical attention. No ambition. Yeah, that's in, yeah. in any regard. He did not try to get any medical help for like, his what was wounds. It? Like, he, what was he going to do if he, like, passed out playing that <laughs> piano, you know? Like, just bleeding through his suit jacket. Yeah, I know. This is not good, but... Uh, he doesn't have health care, He doesn't have a plan. No, here. he plays a piano at a mall. <laughs> well, Adam also says either that some fast-acting poison or he was afraid that there might be some kind of bots that kill patrolling the mall. <laughs> Michael Whitaker mm, says, please tell me Eric squares off against the robots from Chopping Mall. Kinda All I want that. is a producer credit when you guys ultimately write that movie. Yeah. Also, <laughs> in a small to sizable chunk of the profits but that's it okay um steve carney says i love anything to do with malls especially <laughs> mall horror films yeah the idea of setting phantom of the opera in a mall is a great at the time spin on the classic story arrow video released the film on blu-ray around the same time as hell high another underrated 80s slasher we're checking out hell high i'm not, I'm not familiar hell with high? that one i don't think we know we, we, we did we Hell did Night. A, we did Hell Night. Hell Night. Yeah. And Slaughter High. And, and Slaughter, Slaughter High. High. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't combine them. Yeah, yeah Hell High. That, I got to put that back on the yeah. list. And the director of this one also did Doom, Doom Asylum. Asylum. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called Cellar Dweller. Mm. And Action Dude says, like Michaela, I too am a visual artist. This is one of the few movies that had any elements referencing visual artists. So that aspect stuck with me. And oh, yes. One crazy summer is excellent, Holly, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. glad you're feeling better. Mm -hmm. Stay cool, Thank my you. friends. Until next time. Stay cool. Thanks, Action Dude. Action Dude. <laughs> Travis Thanks for Legler. stopping by. Yeah, we look forward to your action yeah. figure. We love soon. Action Dude. <laughs> uh, Travis Legler says, Lar Park Lincoln, uh, Friday the 13th Part 7, the new Blood fan, yes. said the best thing about director John Carl Beekler, who also directed Cellar Dweller, was that he didn't yell or get mean with his career actors. She said he was always kind. And uh, he got to, or uh, you got to love how the nicest people always make fun horror movies. Yeah, I do uh, love he, that. He I always that. seemed like a nice guy mm -hmm. from every interview I saw with him. And yeah, it seems like he would take every uh, uh, chance to direct as sort of a uh, a that. gift and be nice yeah, to his people. So that. yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ryan Handsome Jansen says, I watched Cellar Dweller last year. The opening scene with Jeffrey Combs was good. And then it is just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it goes way downhill yes. after that. Yes. You're uh, not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> those yeah. art kids are hard to take. They are. <laughs> Oof. Uh, Pat Hetfield said, it's not really a comment about the movie, but I'm waiting for a horror or science fiction movie where Jeffrey Combs and Bruce Campbell either team up or are nemesis. That would be awesome. Nemesis, yeah. Nemesis or whatever. Yeah, we're nice. like, I know that movie Death House or whatever from a couple years ago was supposed yeah. to be like the expendables for horror people, but like the most famous person in that was Kane Hodder. So like yeah. that's, yeah. I yeah. need like a legit, like yeah. big budget version of something like that. That's, mm -hmm. yeah. That would maybe be one of the only times where you're like, yeah, let's throw a hundred million dollars at yeah. this horror movie. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you don't mm -hmm. usually do that, but to mm -hmm. get everybody into that for some yeah. super expendables Someone version of that would be that. fun. Yeah. yeah, it would. That would be good. Uh, the week before that, we watched Evil Dead 2013. Travis yes. Legler says, I'm not going to lie. I never believed that knife would be able to cut the arm off in Evil Dead. Holly, oh. Deal you're a knife. baker. Maybe you've <laughs> used one. Do you think it would work? I've never cut off an arm. Do you think it would work? <laughs> I think you it would saw work. off an arm with uh, the... Electric whatever. carving knife, yeah. yeah. Yes. I think it would work. Yes, Those things were almost... They almost shouldn't have been around children. Because I remember getting into the cabinets when I was younger playing with that thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it going, would, this is dangerous. Because those things are fucking sharp. It would take a lot of effort, and but yes, it can be done. Because okay. yeah. it's doing this. Yeah. Those yeah. things are sharp. Yeah. Yeah. It can be done. I mean, you could carve a turkey with it. I imagine yeah. you could carve your arm with it. I think you could. It would take a lot of effort, but yes, uh. you can. Yeah, you got to just stick with it. <laughs> uh, Dem Twisted Animations writes Ooh. in and says, I'm a huge fan of the Evil Dead franchise, and I absolutely love Evil Dead 2013, which to me is the best yes. remake I've ever seen. It's so one. it's great to see it's you, good. the internet radio superstars, <gasps> cover this great movie. I just hope when you said that the passage that summoned the demons, 
e- didn't turn Igor into a deadite after the podcast was over and destroy all of you. If you didn't say the entire passage, <laughs> then don't read it in full. But I'm about to right now. I don't know. <laughs> Kandar, Estrada, Kandos, through throughs. Okay. Indaktu, Nosfradanus, Kandar, Dematos, Kandar. Yeah, Kandar. I don't know what you conjured from that. But there you go. Yep. Hopefully so now, you didn't say it well ooh, enough. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just lulled Igor to sleep. I think yeah. so. That's a lot. I think <laughs> right. there's, only, uh, there's only like three or four that's words. That's all you did. Uh, he <laughs> says it'd be a shame if you never came back to this podcast due to the possessed <laughs> Igor Deadeye because you're all my favorite, most charismatic, and entertaining personalities with the most chemistry together out of any movie podcast yeah. I've listened to. Thank oh, you. Thanks. That's so nice. Hopefully you've yeah. listened to more than two. Yeah. Oh <laughs> but thank you very much. We've got to make, so nice. to to make it long enough to see Evil Dead Rise, too. So. There you yeah. go. Ah, yes. Uh, Jimbo Ice says, funny how endless gore is okay, but more than three pelvic thrusts in a sex scene is NC-17. Right. I'm saying, I'm saying. Seriously. Yep. He says, I'm not arguing for more visceral cinematic <laughs> more sex thrusts. or anything. And it's just funny what's allowed and what isn't. Hell, in PG-13, you can't say a sexually charged swear word, but you can bloodlessly shoot someone every few seconds or graphically chew through infinite enemies as long as they don't bleed red. Yep. And I'm still yep. shocked that something like Alita Battle Angel, one for the freak show for sure, isn't a hard R rating. Yeah, oh, I, interesting. I, I did a whole, I think I said Holly, my presentation, which I, I had to do a presentation mm-hmm. in speech class on like MPAA ratings and how ridiculous they were. And I had like a side-by-side of like, Winter Soldier has like a body count of like 300 something, but like you would never know it because right. there's not a drop of blood in that movie. Yeah. Right. But I mean, even with, yeah. and there's all like um, Dark Knight Rises, there's a whole scene where the cops are on one side, there's mm-hmm. a whole group of gang on the other side, and they just shoot the cops point blank right yeah. there, yeah. and not a drop of blood yeah. on anybody and all that mm-hmm. stuff. Do you ever watch um, this movie's not yet rated? The, yeah, oh, it's a, that's Dick. an infuriating documentary right, yeah, to watch. My God, one. yeah. Yeah, if you ever want but, a, a good breakdown of the rating system, even if it is like I think more than a decade old at this point, but it's still yeah. very good. Because yeah, Jack Valenti isn't there anymore, right? He was. I, no, I think he's dead. He's, yeah. 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 Oh right, yeah, he retired yeah. and then he died. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I forgot. About this Jack is a pro thrust podcast, though. I'm pro. <laughs> oh yeah, more thrust. Yeah, all the thrust. All the thrust. Yeah. Also, PG thirteen movie. No knives, yeah. penises. Yeah. Just keep the thrust. Give us all the thrusts. Yeah. <laughs> Also, thank you to all those listeners who reached out to me. I had several reach out to me oh, and nice. see if I was doing okay. <laughs> yeah. That was really nice, you guys. Thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> and she's back. I'm back. <laughs> all right, now we're going to go around the table. Uh, thank you, you know, again, all of you for writing in. Uh, and we're going to go around yes. the table and tell you uh, what uh, we. Holly, thought. since oh, you're back, me. Movie. You Although get, I was back last. I week, know, but so. since uh, but you you picked last time, so I couldn't I did, shout I your name. Yeah. So Holly, what did you think about tonight's movie? Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge, mm-hmm. and yeah. do you think we should get a prequel and or sequel out of it? Go. <laughs> sure. Um, okay, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this movie gave me everything I wanted. <laughs> I was not expecting that. There was a Phantom. By any there was means. a Mall. Yeah. There was Revenge. There was, Eric was in it. Yeah. <laughs> Eric was there. Eric had a mask. A lot like, of Eric. <laughs> I, uh, and his name was, was Eric Matthews on Eric top of Matthews. it. Yes. <laughs> I mean, there was... There was some there was eyeballs. There was there was Polly Shore. Yeah, there was Polly Shore. Death scenes, explosions, car chases, snakes. Lots. There was snakes, snakes, boobies. There was like this movie had everything. How did this movie have everything? I don't understand. How has it escaped us for so long? I don't too. understand. Like I was never bored watching this movie. There's something happening every moment of this movie. Uh, yeah, I've. Is it perfect? No, but we don't watch those movies. No. <laughs> so. no. I, I have nothing bad to say. I'm going to recommend the hell out of this movie. And I absolutely think there should be prequels and sequels. And I'm not one who usually wants sequels. But I want to know more about Eric. And I want to know about his legacy and his son. And oh, yeah. All son of, of Eric. The things. <laughs> son of the Eric. Yeah. Son of Eric. Eric's legacy. I want to know all of it. Um, oh, well, uh, 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 son of Eric, strip mall, or like we can we can <laughs> boil it down to like it's not as it's not as interesting because you got to go outside to go to the other stores, <laughs> so that's a little bit of a problem. But yes, <laughs> I like it. I'm gonna recommend it. That was a good time, Sean. Uh, I'm also gonna recommend it. It was it was fun. It was a fun movie to watch. Um, 
uh, and it's also fun just because of, you know, like we said, what it made us think of as far as like what other movies could come out of this. How we could we do a prequel <laughs> or a sequel? Um, again, like we said, more stunts than I thought there was ever going to be in mm-hmm. this. More exp- explosions and like never thought we were going to get it and we got it. So that's always a plus for it. Um, just the uh, I mean, the imagery of a guy uh, of replacing certain imagery from Phantom of the Opera with a dude just lifting weights in the in the in his uh, below mall dungeon <laughs> and his voice alteration his motivations um I'm Polly Shore is in this movie and doing Polly Shore things mm-hmm. um again never bored yeah uh very interesting um we should definitely make the sequel or prequel to this movie mm-hmm. until that time I recommend that you watch Phantom of the Mall Eric's Revenge mm-hmm. had a good time I think you will too mm-hmm. Colin what do you think yeah, I was actually kind of surprised that I had a good time with it tonight. The first time I saw it, it was on, like, I missed it through the 80s. I saw it on uh, Joe Bob Briggs' last drive-in, and I, I don't think that format is the best for seeing a movie that you've never Not seen for before. first because, time, yeah, yeah. Because he breaks up, you know, with interesting information, but it's better almost as a commentary track for a movie that you've already seen. Yes. Because uh, it, it altered the flow of it and made it, you know, it, it just kind of broke it up and bored me, and I was like, uh uh, this time tonight with it all as a complete thing, it was, I mean, it's not a good movie, right? No. <laughs> it is really bad, uh, but bad in a good way. This is a good, bad movie because yeah. it's entertaining. I think there's, they're throwing so much shit at you as far as, uh, subplots. And I guess the subplots do pay off. They may not pay off well. It's not a very well directed movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, even it's not a very well shot movie. Mm-hmm. Some of the stuff you're like, the geography is kind of off, but it makes yep. up for that. In um, I think you know, being a fan of these type of movies, you do get kind of a uh, you know like, oh, it's you mm-hmm. from this movie, or it's yes. you, you know, and that kind of gives you interest. That's the fun of it. Yeah, the stunt work gives you interest. The gore effects, which weren't expert, but they were you know, okay. And sometimes right. like, Oh, okay. They're chopping people's heads off and killing people with flamethrowers and yeah. you know, blowing <laughs> eyes out of people's heads. Uh, you know, uh, so it was like, all right, you know, so I guess cumulatively, like it's better than the sum of its parts. Uh, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I would say, yeah, you should check out, uh, it was a fun time watching it just mm-hmm. cause it was, uh, so loopy. It's uh, a fun romp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so I, I recommend that you watch it, Michaela. What did you think? Yeah, I mean, just the the ambiance of people shopping at the mall and the sound and like the whole vibe. I could watch hours of just people in an eighties mall shopping. We were getting just excited just by the store. Yeah, like the nostalgia like Sam, rush we did. a lot. We saw everything yeah. we saw. Sam Goody like, and KB Toys. Toys. We but were like, excited. I could listen to the. Uh, they amb- said Sam Good and we all went. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I could listen. I could listen to the ambiance of sitting in like a mall food court in the 80s for like hours you know oh or like watch a, a video of it yeah, yeah yeah exactly and man wow yeah like it was just like it was so cozy to see all that stuff but I wish we could have all had orange Julius. I know like it was <laughs> man when virtual reality is perfected this is like the kind of place I'm gonna, gonna go you know mall. yeah because I believe that'll happen before malls happen again you know what I'm saying <laughs> oh like, yeah like nostalgia for malls will come back around eventually and we'll have them again. I do believe that, but I think that we're sooner to the virtual reality version than we are that. Um, it, yeah, it was, it was a lot more than what I expected. I agree with a lot of you guys. I wasn't expecting stunts and car crashes and s- snakes and all kinds of just <laughs> yeah. crazy stuff. I thought it was just going to be kind of more like a slasher thing. And I honestly expected the whole like sleeping in the tent in the outdoor store gag. I was expecting that right. kind of shit, you know? And no, I it was literally Phantom of the Mall. Like I didn't know it was gonna be so literal. About yeah, that I either. didn't know either. Yeah, yeah. I always thought that maybe that's just the title and it won't be anything like that. But wow, wow, wow! How has this escaped us for this many years? It's it was delightful. It feels yeah. like a, it feels like a movie whose name we would come up with. Yeah, I know. Especially the Eric's Revenge. Just is this the cherry on top? Is just because you're like, who's Eric? Right. Like, am I supposed to know who Eric is? Like, why he wants Phantom revenge? Phantom of yeah. the Opera. I guess yeah. they kept that. Yeah. Oh, you said just as like. Like, like uh, the yeah. title, you're looking yeah, at this title, yeah. you're like, who the fuck's Eric? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, what happened to Eric? Yeah. Why is he getting revenge? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It it's I mean, it's yeah, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. it if it, <laughs> I would really like to do like a drive in or a midnight movie like event with this movie because I think it would be a ton of fun. Yeah, it'd be but, good with a crowd. Yeah. But the prequel would be we need to talk about Eric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with Eric, yeah. Uh, yes. Yep. 
All right. Well, that sounds like that's four recommendations, which means uh, you're contractually obligated to watch Phantom of the Mall. Them's the rules. Revenge. Watch him get his revenge. Next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Colin. What are we going to watch next week? I'm following my heart, man. We're oh. doing non-Argento Giallos. So right. we're going to do oh. What Have You Done to Solange? All right. Okay. I've heard good things about this one. All right. I've never seen it, though. We'll find out Colin's if you like it or not. Giallo That's button. right. It might be the whole summer. I don't know. Oh, we'll wow. <laughs> so whole of 2023, huh? Yeah. So far? I don't know. I don't know. Wowzers. At this point, it's like, hey, we could do this. or Well, let's just plow ahead with it. We'll follow get them heart, all out Colin, of my follow system. Follow your heart. Uh, what have you done to Solange? That's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.